This interview builder is a powerful graphical tool for building dashboards using existing data from a variety of sources. This tutorial provides an overview of the main elements of Centerview Builder. At the top right of the Centerview Builder user interface are three buttons that let you switch between the various dashboard project editors. Click any button to switch to that Centerview Builder editor. The Image Template Editor allows you to edit the details of a particular graph, map, or gauge. The XML Editor lets you edit the dashboard's XML files directly. The Dashboard Editor gives you access to each element of your dashboard. The menu bar includes three menus, File, Edit, and Help. The File menu contains general access functions for Centerview Builder. Many of these functions are also available from the toolbar. The Edit menu provides access to standard text editing features and to Centerview Builder preferences. The Help menu provides access to Centerview Builder help resources, including the full online documentation. Located directly beneath the menu bar, the toolbar buttons provide quick access to commonly used Centerview Builder functions when you are in the dashboard. The user interface provides several panes to aid you in dashboard construction. The workspace displays the objects in the currently selected dashboard component, such as a page or KPI. The workspace updates in real time as you navigate through the dashboard and modify dashboard components. The workspace lets you easily locate and manipulate objects in your dashboard. In the workspace, you can select, resize, and move objects. Located in the upper left portion of the user interface, the project browser provides a component level view of the current dashboard project, starting with the dashboard object at the topmost level and proceeding to pages, KPIs, core images, and data sources. Clicking the Files tab opens the file browser, which provides a file level view of various dashboard components and the location of each file. Centerview stores data from each dashboard component in a separate file. For example, Centerview stores data for each dashboard page in a page XML file and data for each KPI in a KPI XML file. Located in the lower left portion of the user interface, the object browser provides a hierarchical view of the XML objects used in the current dashboard. Use this view to browse to and add objects to the dashboard project. Selecting an object in the object browser selects the object in the workspace and causes a list of all available XML objects supported by that object to appear in the object palette. Located in the lower right portion of the user interface, the object palette provides a list of XML objects that can be added to the object currently selected in the object browser. Selecting an object from the object palette inserts an object of that type as a sub-element into the object currently selected in the object browser. For example, we can select the layout object in the object browser and then use the object palette to add a cell object to the layout. Then we can add a button object to that cell. You can move items up and down in the object browser by using the up and down buttons. For example, we can move the cell containing our new button above the KPI. Located in the upper right portion of the user interface, Object Properties provides a list of all the properties that can be configured for the object currently selected in the object browser. Use Object Properties to modify the property values associated with the XML objects in the dashboard. Object properties also display brief descriptions of selected objects and properties. Modify an object property by selecting it in the object properties pane. You can change the property by typing directly in the value field. For example, we can set the label for the button we just added to the dashboard. First, select the button in the workspace, then click the label property in the object properties. Then we can simply type the new value. Notice how the workspace is automatically updated. If a specific set of values is supported, a drop-down button appears at the right end of the field. Click the drop-down button to select from a list of supported values for that property. Some objects provide an ellipsis button that opens a separate dialog where you can enter property values. For example, if we wanted to associate an image with the button, we could clip the ellipsis button to the right of the image source and browse to the desired image file. Located directly below the object properties, 
A description field gives a brief description of the currently selected XML object. You can see more information about an XML object by clicking the Help button located in the upper right corner of the description field. To see a current rendering of the dashboard, click the Preview button in the toolbar. The preview opens the configured web browser and displays the dashboard in its current state. Spend a little time with Centerview Builder and you'll soon be creating exciting dashboards with graphs and maps that will bring your data to life.